Our humanitarian award is named after the late Governor Richard J. Hughes, who chaired the very first Catholic Charities Dinner 33 years ago. It is an honor to continue his legacy as he too was a true humanitarian and supporter of our mission to meet the needs of the most vulnerable. Each year it is presented to an individual who helps make our mission possible. This year's humanitarian award goes to Stephanie Pettikor. Stephanie's a giant. She's a woman who puts her passion for social justice into action. A fierce leader who rolls up her sleeves to fight for the things she cares about and motivates others to follow. They have followed her to the southern border to work in undesirable conditions to serve the arriving migrants. High school teens have followed her to serve those within the Appalachian community. Stephanie has encouraged young adults from across the country to take a year and live in an urban setting and work within nonprofits like Catholic Charities serving vulnerable populations. She truly brings life to a quote from scripture, faith without works is dead. Thank you, Stephanie, for daring to put your faith into action and truly making a difference. My first reaction when Marlene called me was to say no, <laughs> um, but she told me that I wasn't allowed to refuse it. Um, so then I, it, I really, I was very humbled um, by it because Marlene personally is someone that I have come to respect and deeply admire and I deeply admire the work of Catholic Charities. Um, so to be receiving it from such an esteemed organization um, really means a lot to me. Our work at the Center for Faith Justice really is to inspire young people in particular, but people across generations, in a call to meaningful discipleship. And our way of doing that is through expressions of service, social justice, and really a call to protagonism. So we are fortunate to partner with organizations like Catholic Charities. Our campus is right in, right, right in Trenton, and over the course of a summer, we'll have several hundred high school students come and immerse themselves in that space. They're doing at minimum a 30, 30 hours of direct community service, so they're working with institutions like Catholic Charities, CYO, Trenton Area Soup Kitchen, Visitation Home. Those are our, our Catholic partners throughout the region, but then they're also working with other nonprofits in the community. I really wanted to explore the idea of a year-long residential program for postgraduate students, students that had, for the most part, come through our leadership program. And I approached Marlene about having Catholic Charities be a placement site for, for some of those students. So over the course of the years, we've had four or five students be placed at, at Catholic Charities. The opportunity for, in particular, young adult emerging leaders to be able to learn from someone like Marlene is a really extraordinary. Catholic Charities is one of the beacons of light and hope within within our diocese. It's a pride, providing broad spectrum community services, everything from addiction counseling to mental health to uh, domestic violence to food insecurity. It sort of addresses all of these great needs through um, a really incredible and dynamic team led by led by Marlene Lau Collins. It's a place that genuinely cares about those that it's serving um, and working in partnership with. So it's just performing um, essential, essential human services in our community. What I, I really want to be able to thank and have the opportunity to thank our Board of Trustees at the Center for Faith Justice. It's very much a team effort in every sense of the word. I'd be very remiss not to thank uh, my husband and my kids. You know, the, the work of running a nonprofit involves a lot of sacrifice, and I couldn't do that if my family weren't together and on, on board with it. And we're really extremely fortunate to have a partner in Marlene and in Catholic Charities here in Trenton because the work that 
the organization is doing is so essential um, to this community that we that we call home. So for us, the ability to continue that partnership and grow that partnership over time is not only something that we love and enjoy doing, but it's absolutely essential. The, so for us, that's the future. The work or the works continues, as, as we would say at CFJ, and partnerships like all of the donors in this room are an essential part of that process. So thank you.